at battle line in the elimination chamber. Six men will enter, but only one can survive. Some will fight for honor, some will ignite a war. That tight one kick Chris O back to the pit that I pulled him out of. Shogun, I'm gonna break every single bone in your fucking body! No escape from your Family Ties is bringing home the World Championship. <laughs> the following contest is an elimination chamber where the winner will be crowned the first ever BCW World's Heavyweight Champion. Introducing first, weighing in at 250 pounds, from parts unknown, the demonic god, Shogun. As you heard our announcer say, this is the Elimination Chamber. This will crown the first ever World's Heavyweight Champion in VCW. Coming to the ring now is a man who has been in two Elimination Chambers. One, a barbed wire Elimination Chamber. The other a plain elimination chamber. He won one, came in third in the second. Here comes Chriso, I believe. Introducing next, standing in at six foot, ten inches tall, from Wales, he is the Phenom Chriso. This is everyone except Shogun's first elimination chamber. This is EC this is VCW's first elimination chamber. This is my first elimination chamber. This is the first time I will encounter the demonic structure that apparently the demonic god has conquered. It is luminously hanging above the ring. You couldn't see it in that shot, but it is luminously hanging above the ring and will be dropped down after each competitor enters the ring. And this 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 man right here, he scares the living hell out of me. Actually both these guys do. Half the competitors in the elimination chamber, I'd shit myself if I ever saw them in real life. Here comes the violence king, J Dub. Introducing next, making his way to the ring. Weighing in at 225 pounds from Detroit, Michigan, the Violence King, J. Dub. This man, he had a match with T-Pac, which he didn't lose, 
It was a double counter. And neither did draw. Doesn't give either of them momentum. So quite honestly, I don't think he's gonna win. I don't think T-Pack's gonna win. I think that Shogun could win. He pinned. He pinned. Sorry, he pinched uh, King AJ last week. I also think Crystal could win. He's, he's gotten in the head of King AJ and Shogun and AJ. And he's gotten a pack with JW down here. This, could, this contest, I don't care either way how it ends. Whoever wins the world championship in this is deserves to be world champion. Comes King AJ. Introducing next from Liverpool, England, King AJ. The man from Liverpool who likes to compare himself to the likes of Randy Orton. He's sick and sadistic, and in that ring, he'll take you out. And quite frankly, I, I, I see the similarities to Orton. But Orton, he's a good guy. And, and this guy, he's just a step above Executor. Not much above, but just a step above. He's scum too. He's a Ted Whistle. Two weeks straight. One with an assist from Shogun. I don't care if he says that he didn't want the help from Shogun. He still got the help from Shogun. And both of them. I, Shogun, quite honestly, right now, is my pick to win the Elimination Chamber. And then King AJ, King AJ will second, I have to, I, I think he'll be a beast in there. And then after that, I guess T-Pack. And I don't know who after that. I, I know J-Dub isn't going to win. I know, I definitely know this man isn't going to win. I am introducing next, weighing in at 212 pounds, from Los Angeles, California, by way of Muskegon, Michigan, Wayne Static. This man has competed in two other matches other than this. This is only his third match, and he gets a world championship match. I mean, come on. I mean, yeah, I, I like the guy. He's, he's a pretty good competitor, but he doesn't deserve a world championship. And if he wins it here, if he, if he emerges from battle lines, I'll quit. If he, actually, I should take that back. I actually like this guy. I just don't think he deserves a world title yet. But it, it, it comes down to him, t -Pat, Chris, uh, King AJO. I'm gonna root for that guy because he's actually a really good guy. I just don't think. And introducing the yet. sixth and final competitor, weighing in at 260 pounds, from Flint, Michigan, T. Back. Here's the monster of family ties. I think honestly, if he wouldn't have qualified, and one of the other members of family ties would have qualified for this match, that tag match would have been over like that. It would have been a no question. This guy is a beast. He's probably the strongest competitor in all of BCW. And you know why? Just look at him. He's seven feet tall. He could probably bench three houses. He could probably bench your motorhome. Yes, I said you live in a motorhome. Deal with it. I'm a comment there, bitch. T Pack. He's just taunting the crowd. He knows the crowd hates him. But I, I, as much as I hate to say it, I think he could win this. And that's what it's all about. The World's Heavyweight Championship. Folks, we will be right back. Tune in to the next part. It will be the World Title Match, an elimination chamber to crown our first world champion. Come on, you know you want to. As always, I'm Scott Harris. I'll always love you. Really?